Good morning, YouTube fam. Welcome to Vlogtober Day 5. So, I'm going to whip some breakfast up really quick for the family. We did decide not to go to the pumpkin patch today. Um, we're going to look into a different option for that. But we are going to go to Valley View Farms. It's one of my personal favorites to go to um, during the fall season here in Maryland. Because the outside of the store is all fall, all Halloween. But the inside is Christmas. And who can resist like Christmas displays, even if it is October. So, and I do have some, so I'm gonna do the dishes real quick, whip up some breakfast, and then we'll meet you at the farm. Can I also just say really quickly how stinking adorable this little pumpkin um, waffle maker is that I got from Target. It was only $10 and it's seriously the best. So you put your mix in, the light turns green, like bright green, when it's time to pull it out. It's easy, it's quick, it's a fun shape. The kids love it. Um, I'm using, oh, it's green so I can go ahead and open it, but I'm using this uh, birthday cake mix to make the kids some pancakes really quickly. And like I said, it's just so, so quick, so easy, so much fun. Love it. See if I can lift it out of here while I'm holding the camera. Oh, okay. I'm just gonna grab it. Yeah, so there you go. You got the perfect pumpkin pancake instantly. Lovely. I just wanted to share with you guys this product I found. It's called um, Dawn Ultra Platinum Power Wash Dish Spray. Dish spray. I love this stuff, seriously. You spray it on your dishes. You barely have to um, use any type of elbow grease to get the, the the food, the stains, the grease, whatever, it just comes right off. And you can see their staple is spray, wipe, rinse, and it does just that. And I'll even give you a demonstration like of how it comes out. So it comes out like this, and it just covers anything um, that might be stuck on, and you just rinse it off like so. And it just rinses clean. I just love it. It is a tad bit on the expensive side. I think one of these might be... I want to say at least six dollars so it's not super big you can see it's a 16 ounce bottle but it's definitely well worth the price i really enjoy it highly recommend What are you gonna do with it once you get home? I'm gonna eat it. You gonna eat it? Okay, just one. Good job. Yeah. We're gonna put our pumpkins in the car first, so. Okay, I think we're done getting pumpkins. I don't know why, but the Grinch section is always legit my favorite section. I just feel like they have the cutest little like assortment of Grinch ornaments. And then up here you can see they've displayed them in an actual Grinch tree. It's just so classic and so nostalgic for me. I love it. 
I get some of my. You know who else actually has really, really good Grinch stuff? Hobby Lobby. They have the cutest like Grinch signs and Grinch pillow. Any type of Grinch you need, right? What are you guys looking at? Now, why are y'all looking at the wine glass section? I'm gonna need my my <laughs> two underage children to come away from the wine glass ornament section. Oh, cool. mm -hmm. This is where y'all need to be. Unicorns and dinosaurs. That's where y'all need to be. <laughs> Can we get this? Not looking at wine. So we made it over to the Christmas Village section. And I think this is new this year. All this Nightmare Before Christmas stuff. Let's see if we can find it. Oh, it's all the way back there in the corner. Wow. Cool. We, I literally love Halloween villages, but I would not get one. I don't even have the patience, I don't think, to make one and to prevent my children from tearing it apart. <laughs> they used to do a haunted house out here every year, but I'm pretty sure because of COVID, they're not doing it. Because you used to walk right out this door and go straight into the haunted house. I don't think it's up this year, though. Let's see. Yeah, because it used to, yeah. <sighs> okay, y'all, that's going to do it for Vlogtober Day 4. Thank you guys so much for joining us. I hope you enjoyed our little trip to Valley View Farms and pick out a couple of pumpkins. Like I said, we are still going to go to um, an actual pumpkin patch uh, within the next few weeks. But next weekend is James's birthday weekend. Mm -hmm. So we'll have a little bit of fun for that. But yeah, so I hope to see you guys tomorrow. I hope you guys are still being safe and healthy um, and just enjoying this wonderful fall season. See you in the next one. Bye.